we're gonna be running a simulation on this model right here and I'll be attaching this model to the B-Log so if you guys want the part to follow along with the tutorial you can go ahead and download that as well so here I have a model that I want to run a simulation on the first step is to just go to the simulation tab from the top and I'm gonna click on a new study and I can select different study types and different mesh types but I'm just gonna keep the default one for this study and I'm gonna press OK here now I'm inside the simulation and the first thing I want to do is that I want to choose the material for this material I'm just gonna go with a stainless steel and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna define the body that I want the analysis to be performed on and I'm gonna select the whole model and accept now what I need to do is I'll need to define forces and the fixed side of my model for the fixed side I can just go to fix from the constraints and select this face here as you can see in the prompt bar it says right click or enter to accept so I'm just gonna right click for the forces I wanna put my forces on this side of the model so here I'm gonna go to force but I wanna have it in two different components X, Y, and C. As you can see, you can select different force types. I'm going to go to the component force and I'm going to select this face. I want my force to be 500,000 millinewton because, as you can see, the units are millinewton. It's very important to pay attention to the units. We all know what happened in the NASA case when they didn't, attention to the, they didn't pay attention to the units. So I want 500 newton on the x-axis so I put 500,000 because it's millinewton and for the z-axis I want just negative 250,000 because I want it to be down as you can see the uh, z-axis just points up so I want it to go down so I have to put a negative and that's it that's my force and now I'll have to do is either go to solve or go to mesh if I go to mesh here I can select how fine my mesh uh, is gonna be the finer it is the more uh, the longer for the program to analyze and process it so I'm just gonna select the default option and do mesh and solve and that's it that's my analysis I can even go ahead and animate this see how the model is going to move with the forces and here I have the the chart and I can see how much force is applied to every little part of my model and that's it for today's uh, tutorial if you guys have any questions just go ahead and leave a comment and as always thanks for listening until next time thank you